Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Zamru Zainal. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, in this video, I will show you on on how to to plot the uh, how to run an analysis uh, summary in Prosper. And then the most important thing is how to view the results. There are several ways to to view the results depending on how much data that we we run much calculation that we run especially if uh, if you run only uh, uh, a single uh, parameters then the display uh, of the results can be straightforward but if we have a, a series of uh, parameters that we run concurrently that we calculate concurrently then they we have uh, there is a uh, several approach that can that we can use in order to to view all those results and especially if you want to make a comparison where you want to choose the most optimum parameters okay let's uh, go ahead and in these uh, videos I will show you on how to display the result from the system calculation which is the default uh, prosper I would say a default prosper um, calculations because if someone asks you can you please run this uh, 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 a prosper model using this set of uh, operating condition then most probably system calculation is the, is the one that he refers to so let's click uh, system calculation here at the box as usual before we can run uh, system calculation we need to specify what are the top knot pressure cost and ratio condensate and then you have to choose which uh, appropriate uh, vertical lift correlations and I will normally choose uh, automatic geometrics and let's click calculate just hide the calculating data doesn't matter okay this is my results so you can either w uh, view the results here from the plots or read it from the table here the gas rate and the solution pressure or you want to look at the full plots uh, VLP pressure, IPR pressure versus gas rate yep this is exactly identical to what we have those plots okay. this is easy because we only run with single operating condition what if we run with a multiple uh, case for example like if I want to run case with several tubing data so here I enter several tubing data from 2 inch until 17 inch make no sense but I just want to see what are what are the results that means Prosper will run ca calculation on each of these tubing size I apply it for the whole intervals from 0 feet to 3000 feet as you can see here there are 16 cases represent 6 different diameters, tubing diameters done so I can see multiple results now here you can see there is no intersection so the well has the well is quit even here the intersection point falls on the Turner region which is not good not good okay let's see because here is tedious because you have to click one uh, the case one by one to see the different results it's hard for you to make a comparison so what if we plot all of them together can you see anything here? It's not easy. Eh? Let's zoom in. Can you really still? Can you really see the, the plots? It's not easy. So meaning, this plot is not suitable. Suitable to view multiple cases like this. So there's some um, alternative way of uh, plotting the results. This is the default way, the system plot or the nodal analysis plot. Why don't we go for sensitivity plot? 
Okay, my y axis has to be a gas weight, so it's only okay. From here, I can see if I run two inch pipe, this is my gas weight. If I run a six inch pipe, tubing pipe, tubing size, this is my weight. Starting from seven inch, regardless if I increase, if I put a bigger tubing size, it will not give me any incremental. In fact. After 11 inch, it start to give me small, uh, lower gas weights. So, I would say the optimum uh, tubing size is 7 inch. There's no point for me to put a to to uh, to put a bigger tubing size. Yeah, as you can see here, it's different. Done. Okay, what if I want to add uh, more uh, more sensitivities? Okay, so what if I want to put a different head pressure of top note, of top note pressure? So I put here 700 and 1000. So this is on top of a uh, analysis of uh, tubing sizes. Okay, so we, we, are, we are dealing with more data now. Again, I will apply the sensitivity of uh, different tubing sizes for the whole tubing from zero from Christmas tree to the to the to the reservoirs. Here, sixteen times two, thirty-two cases. Okay, we have plenty of cases here. So let's us prosper. Done. Okay. Since I don't bother to go to plot because it's impossible for you to see anything. Anything that's, that is comprehensible from, from this plot. So many intersections. So no, that's not the right way to view the result. So again, go to sensitivity plots and just want to check. Make sure you, guess, you get the gas rate on Y axis. I think by default it will go to pressure and it give you it's not really give you any gas rate so I don't want that doesn't give me any meaning at the moment so I just want to see the gas rate here with different uh, top note pressure I can see different optimum to be well more or less the same yeah? but if I can okay for curve number one if you have a better well head pressure or, or top knot pressure of 700 so my optimum tubing size could be 8 inch even though someone could just challenge me why don't 7 why not 7 it can be 8 inch it can be 7 okay and then for the second set of data, which is at the top node of 1000, so my optimum tubing size is here. So sensitivity plot is useful. So in short, if you are dealing with a small amount of data, you can just use plot pattern, uh, your pl uh, system plot. But if you are dealing with more data, then you I recommend you to use sensitivity plot. Okay. Okay, that's all for today, and hope you will uh, enjoy the videos. And thanks for watching again, and good luck in your studies. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.